Brian Cashman met with the assembled media uh, toward the end of uh, the Yankees' 6 2 victory over the Rays and revealed that Dellen Batansis was uh, suffering from uh, inflammation uh, and an impingement in the back of the right shoulder. So, what does that mean? Well, it means he's going to start the season on the IL. It's not called the DL anymore. And uh, all the great plans that you have can be derailed uh, when it comes to injuries. Luis Severino signs a four-year contract extension. He's got inflammation of his right rotator cuff. Tomorrow, he starts to try to throw the ball again. Um, Aaron Hicks signs a seven-year, $70 million contract extension. He's had two cortisone shots in his back. He will not start the season uh, on the 25-man roster. And now Dylan Patances, who was part of on paper, if not the best bullpen in the history of baseball, certainly in the discussion, now he starts on the, uh, the IL. And according to Brian Cashman, what happened was is that you've got a situation where because of his wife's impending um, birth of, uh, of the couple's son, he did not throw the way he normally threw during off seasons, and he probably is not in the, in the position that he usually is as a, as a pitcher at this point. So that being said, that could have led to this, where he's trying mm -hmm. to rush it. He wasn't getting full extension on his arm, so a guy who throws 98 miles an hour, usually 99, sometimes 100 miles an hour, um, not able to do it. And the Yankees finally asked him, well, well what's the deal? And he, said, and he finally admitted to them, I, I just don't feel like I can extend. And just like that, one of your strengths is now still a strength, but not as much so. So you added an Ottavino and a Britain, and you think, wow, this is it's the greatest bullpen who ever lived. And a guy who's the eighth inning pitcher that pitches before Chapman is not going to start the season with the team. So you don't want to make too much of it. But I always get a little hinky when I hear stuff inflammation in the shoulder yeah you know, why does inflammation happen and i keep being told well pitching is why inflammation happens but we'll see we'll see if he's okay we'll see what what happens let me figure this is going to happen to every bullpen right somebody's going to go on the dl somebody's going to have uh inflammation it's just happening to the yankees here looks like at the beginning of the year and maybe that helps them that where he stays healthy the rest of the year they do have an, uh, an easy schedule early as you said there's a lot of depth there so i don't think there's any reason to panic but Peter brought up a great point. At one point, does it pile high enough where you start to get a little concerned? CeCe, Severino, Hicks. <laughs> now you throw Batances in. So at what, where's the line of demarcation on when you begin to panic? I don't know if they've hit that, but I guess you're getting closer. Well, you know what? You, you can't... Uh, hey, listen, I'm not going to put lipstick on a pig here. You can't lose players of this import and not be adversely affected. So how long will you lose them? Is it just going to be a month? Well, you could suck that up because, as, as we've said over and over, the first month of the Yankee season, they're, they're playing fairly easy teams for the most part. Yeah, the Red Sox are thrown in there for a couple of games. I get that. But, you know, you got the White Sox, you got the Tigers, you got the, the Orioles. I'm sorry. Those are wins for you if you play the, if you play the game the right way. So uh, we'll see if they can could, they could hold the fort, so to speak. But it's, it's not a good thing to lose these players. And, and, again, the seriousness of it will be dictated by how long they're, in fact, out.